Oh, I better call Steven and remind him about the virtual groundbreaking this afternoon. Hey, Marla, what's up? Hey, I just wanted to remind you about the groundbreaking this afternoon. What? That's really today? I thought that was an April Fool's joke. No, it's definitely today, and it starts in about 20 minutes. No, no, no. I'm at Mill Race Park enjoying a late lunch. I'll run to the campus. Be right there. Run? What are you talking about? Hello? Hello? Did I make it in time for the groundbreaking? Well, you did, but it's a virtual groundbreaking. You can watch it from anywhere. Oh well, enjoy the ceremony. Good afternoon and welcome to our new campus. Therese Copeland, Executive Director of Development for Ivy Tech Community College Columbus, and I want to thank you for joining us today for the official groundbreaking ceremony of the new Ivy Tech Community College Columbus campus. We are incredibly excited to mark the official groundbreaking for this state-of-the-art main campus building. This structure will measure more than 80,000 square feet serve as the hub of our entire six county service area and house many of our high quality academic programs. The path that has brought us to this moment has been many years in the making and has required many steps, partnerships, and lots of perseverance. So during this ceremony, you will hear how we arrived to this groundbreaking moment and where we are headed next. While we wish we could have celebrated today in person, many of our community members, students, employees have had the opportunity to contribute to the ceremony. We promise to welcome everyone to our magnificent new campus once the main building is completed next year. And now to officially begin this groundbreaking ceremony, I would like to welcome Columbus Mayor Jim Lenup. Thank you, Therese. I'm honored to take part in this virtual groundbreaking for the new Ivy Tech Community College Columbus campus. Since 1968, Ivy Tech Community College has served as a leader and vital community partner in education for Columbus and our neighboring communities. Education is essential to our residents seeking to improve their quality of life, and Ivy Tech offers excellent education opportunities that are accessible and affordable. The college has helped residents throughout our area take their next step academically and professionally, providing the training they need for advancement in their careers or to continue their education to earn a higher degree. Ivy Tech has also served as a workforce engine for the state of Indiana, producing a pipeline of well-prepared and highly skilled employees for our area businesses. And it has served as an outstanding civic partner, enhancing education as a whole throughout our state and especially 
in South Central Indiana by leading the way with innovative new academic programs and assistance to help students succeed. This new campus will amplify the great services Ivy Tech provides to our region and it will add to the architectural heritage of our community. The modern design will present a stunning entrance to our Columbus Municipal Air Park and the quality of Ivy Tech as a college will represent the caliber of higher education that's available here in Columbus at Ivy Tech and our other institutions. Now I know a lot of effort has gone into ensuring that this campus will serve the Columbus area for years to come. I commend the college, the state of Indiana, and the Cummins Foundation for making this much needed project a reality. As a community, we wholeheartedly support Ivy Tech, and I personally cannot wait to walk through the doors of this facility next year. I celebrate with you today, and I'm looking forward to continuing our community's strong partnership with Ivy Tech. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Lennop. As Chancellor of Ivy Tech Columbus, I speak on behalf of our entire campus when I say we greatly value our partnership with the city. Through our strong bond, we offer truly great educational services to our community that make a meaningful difference in the lives of our students. I would now like to introduce one of our students, Maria De La Cruz, to share her perspective. Hello, I am Maria De La Cruz, a student in the Early Childhood Education Program here at Ivy Tech of Columbus. Ivy Tech is affordable and very close to home. It, has, it offers me the opportunity to obtain a two-year degree in Early Childhood Education. My future plans are to obtain my associate's degree in Early Childhood Education, as well as having the opportunity to obtain a job as a pre-K teacher. When doing so, have the opportunity to keep studying and obtain my bachelor's degree as an ESL teacher. Ivy Tech helped me achieve many goals by giving me the opportunity to do hands-on things and evaluate kids in early childhood education. The new campus will help students like me get experience in college, chase their dream, and obtain a degree that will help establish our futures. I can't wait to see how the new Ivy Tech campus will be. And now to talk about the design and construction of the new Ivy Tech of Columbus, I would like to introduce Iwamoto Scott, CSO and Pepper Construction. The design for the new Ivy Tech Columbus building really began with its siting to create a new airport quad together with the other buildings on the campus. It's a two-story massing with a rotated volume that shifts to celebrate the new grand entry off of Central Avenue and provide views between the CLC and the new Ivy Tech building to the campus quad. The rotated volume also creates a sheltered entry and moving into reception, the space is intentionally compressed to form a threshold between the outside and the new social spine. Moving into the social spine is the aviation flight control room that celebrates this Ivy Tech program. The spine also connects the entry to a large community room that can open up to the main circulation spine and express enrollment stations, which are an extension of the student services and the visual communications gallery. And then the student commons is a natural extension off of this space with views out towards the quad and the CLC. Also activating the social spine is a large cascade stair that connects to the second level. There's a series of nooks along the stair for students to study and socialize. As part of our wayfinding system, we chose to paint the hallways different colors. They're complements of Ivy Tech's brand and secondary colors. It's oranges and yellows on the east side and blues and greens on the west. Each corridor is defined as a separate color that helps identify the different program locations within the building. And the entryways to the classrooms are punctuated with bright white. It's a really simple yet intuitive way to define the thresholds in classrooms. Unlike the social spine, we chose to leave a lot of the building ceilings exposed and open. This was not only budget conscious, but also helped create more difference between the spine and the classroom weights. Moving back out into the second floor of the social spine, there's a short bridge that connects over to the west side, and additional lounge spaces where you can look out over the quad. There's also an overlook to the student commons. And here there's a cloud of Nelson lamps which is a nod to Columbus's architectural heritage and also refers to the Air Park campus. 
this particular position, you're above the clouds. And here you can see the Clary Story windows with ceilings that tilt in three directions towards the south, east, and west. So the time of day is registered in the space. And moving into the west side hallway, we're in the greens and blues, and it leads out to a terrace that overlooks a shared space between the CLC and the quad. There's also another smaller overlook at the stair that reconnects to the student commons. Moving out to the terrace and wrapping around the exterior of the building, we can see the corbelled brickwork at the windows, which really adds that three-dimensionality to the facade. And wrapping around to the north, the building really opens up to the quad. To celebrate the social spine, there's a break in the facade, which is a trace of the geometry of the rotated volume below, and most importantly, connects the social heart of the building with the heart of the campus. Uh, Architect of Record is, um, is an entity or an architecture firm who uh, coordinates um, all of the different players on a project. We have an engineering team that works with us. We have uh, mechanical, electrical, plumbing, technology, civil engineering, all part of our team that is contracted through CSO. And we put all that together and coordinate everything together and send it out as a, a construction uh, document package. We also manage the project during construction. Well, this is the first building, I'm sure I can say for my colleagues, uh, whether we've ever designed in a pandemic, right? And so we've done a lot of um, a lot of Zoom calls, a lot of remote um, um, discussions on not only the design development for with Iwamoto Scott and with our team, not only designed the building but picked all the finishes, the exterior and interior for this building remotely. I think it's a testament of the will and the the the, the, the way that the the, the team came together, to, we're going to get this done no matter what. Um, the clock's not going to stop, we're not going to shut this thing down, we're moving forward. And that was such a relief to everybody that, that the project did move forward and we just had to figure out how to do it remotely. So this campus has a defined quad that's opened on, both, on, on one side. Now we're going to close that in and now you will define um, a, quad, a higher education quad, quadrangle for the project. So that, I think that's important. It's going to anchor the, the, the campus development from the rest of the community and so it's going to really feel like a complete puzzle now when it's all put together. Well for our organization we're just very honored to be, a, be the architect on this project. This is, you know, Ivy Tech is, uh, is, is a great institution uh, in the state of Indiana and we're just honored to be able to be a part of that. As you may have seen on campus, we've gotten started preparing the site for the new building. We're currently working on site utilities and preparing the building pad for the new foundations. The next milestone that you're going to see on site is going to be in May, which is when the structural steel for the building is going to be installed. Following the, the structural steel, we're going to be focusing on the exterior of the building, getting the building shell and the building enclosure completed, which will allow us to work through the fall and the winter on the interior of the building. The new facility is going to be complete in March of 2022. This will allow the owner to start moving from the polling hall building into the new facility shortly thereafter. After the owner moves out of the polling hall building, we'll start the next phase of the project. The next phase entails demo of the existing polling hall building. Following demo of the building, we'll start on the final stage of the project. That stage will be the site utilities and the site improvements around where the existing building currently is. Um, that phase of the project will be wrapping up in September of 2022, bringing it close to the project. As a member of the community here in Columbus, um, I think it's great that Ivy Tech is investing into the community and really building for the future with a project such as this. I'm honored to be part of the project team with a great partner like Ivy Tech on such an important building in our community. Thank you, Iwamoto Scott, CSO Architects, and Pepper Construction. Our entire campus is sincerely appreciative of the expertise each of these firms has brought to the design and construction of our new campus. 
They have served as invaluable partners and have contributed expert guidance to our college as we have formed the future of Ivy Tech. I would also like to recognize the Cummins Foundation, which has provided instrumental support as we strive to uphold the world-class architectural heritage of the Columbus community. Our college is honored to be a part of the communities we serve in Bartholomew, Decatur, Jackson, and Jennings counties, and starting this year, Johnson and Shelby counties. We are excited to add these two counties to our service area this year as we start the construction of our new campus. This structure, located in the former parking lot behind Polling Hall, will offer the same strong academic programs and career training, but in a state-of-the-art, modern facility built for today's students and learning in the 21st century. We will have updated classrooms and we are adding study nooks and an improved commons area for students. Simulation labs will create an even greater sense of reality in preparing our students with real world scenarios. We will invite our community to use our large meeting room for their events. The building will be bright, welcoming and flexible, enabling us to offer courses in a variety of formats. As the center of our service area, our new campus will empower us to continue creating new and innovative educational initiatives and provide greater support for our sites in Franklin, Greensburg, North Vernon, Seymour, and Shelbyville. We can't wait to share this building with our communities. Everyone will be welcome. In fact, you will be able to get your own sneak peek through the miracle of augmented reality and virtual reality at an upcoming event. More on that later. First, I would like to introduce Dr. Sue Elsperman, president of Ivy Tech Community College. We are grateful to Dr. Elsperman's leadership and support, and we are delighted that she could join us today. Let's send it down to her inside the Columbus Learning Center. Thank you, Dr. Combs, and thank you to everyone who has joined us for this virtual groundbreaking ceremony. This is certainly a unique way to celebrate the beginning of new building construction, especially given the challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic. Of course, this type of creativity and problem solving is exactly what I have come to expect from the Ivy Tech Columbus campus and the communities it serves. The Columbus area is well known and well respected for its innovative and collaborative spirit. And this campus consistently rises to connect and engage with its communities. Nowhere is that more visible than the location of this campus at the Columbus Municipal Air Park, right here, Within a few hundred feet of each other sit three outstanding institutions of higher education. Along with IUPUC and Purdue Polytechnic, Ivy Tech Columbus offers accessible education that empowers students to reach their academic and career goals. Together with the Community Education Coalition, the Columbus Air Park Campus provides exceptional opportunities, unlike anything else in the state. This shared energy has inspired the conception of this new building. The partnerships that we as a college and this campus have in this community have made for a compelling process. The generosity of the Cummins Foundation to guide and fund the selection of design architects Iwamoto Scott have ensured this structure will stand tall with other notable buildings at the Air Park campus in this community and within the Ivy Tech system. Many community members, including our very own Ivy Tech faculty and staff, have provided insight and helped drive this project to create an exceptional facility with academics, accessibility, and student success at its core. Thank you to everyone who have participated in the process of making this new building a reality. I would also like to thank the Indiana State Legislature for approving the funding to make this project possible. It is now incumbent on us to ensure this investment of Indiana taxpayer funding results in more Hoosiers successfully completing education, training, credentials, and degrees, which ensure their career success, prosperity, and social mobility, which strengthen the regional economy, and which contribute to the improvement of their local communities. I look forward to seeing this structure rise in the continued development of the Columbus Air Park campus. And I'm excited for the moment next year when our students, employees, and community members can move into this building and take pride in what they have helped create. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Elsperman. Now, remember that augmented reality and virtual reality experience I mentioned earlier? you will be able to get your own sneak peek through the miracle of augmented reality and virtual reality. While visiting campus last week, Dr. Elsperman and our team had a chance to experience it firsthand. Check it out.
great. That's awesome. That was just a little taste of what you can experience when you join us for our Grad Fest on May 15th. Pepper Construction will have the same virtual reality and augmented reality headsets available to anyone to virtually walk through our building and see what it will look like on site. Stay tuned to our Facebook page. Now I'd like to introduce Terry Anker, Chairman of the Ivy Tech Community College State Board of Trustees, Jesse Brand, State Board of Trustees Columbus Representative, and Richard Beckhart, Chairman of the Columbus Campus Board of Trustees to initiate the groundbreaking. Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us on this momentous occasion. On behalf of the Columbus Campus Board of Trustees, we are thrilled that so many members of our community and campus have joined us today for this celebration. Our students, faculty, and staff are the center of Ivy Tech as an institution, and their involvement today gives meaningful context to the collegiate purpose of this new building. We've been waiting for this moment for a very long time. Ivy Tech has served generations in our community, and the state is once again investing in the college to continue providing quality educational opportunities for many years to come. Our communities and the college form a dynamic partnership that benefits the residents by offering higher education close to home and skills training for career development. The groundbreaking for this new building is an exciting beginning for a new chapter of education and innovation. As chair of the statewide board of trustees for Ivy Tech Community College, and on behalf of the statewide board, we couldn't be more delighted about this investment in Columbus and really all of South Central Indiana. This new building designed with academics at the forefront will be a modern and shining example of what community colleges can accomplish. It will serve the citizens of this region and all of Hoosiers uh, for many years to come. We're grateful to be here. Now, let's get started. Wow, what an amazing way for our campus and communities to come together to start this new chapter of Ivy Tech Columbus. The communities we serve have shown so much support to help make this new campus a reality. We have received generous donations that will enhance the educational opportunities on this new campus. Please take a moment to learn why our donors have chosen to support Ivy Tech. Ivy Tech Community College serves so many of our residents with educational opportunities and career-focused programs. For students, Ivy Tech provides an academic foundation that prepares them to continue their education or enter the workforce. For the healthcare industry, Ivy Tech provides a steady, reliable pipeline of work-ready students who have the training and skills needed to succeed. This commitment to our communities and its residents is why the Schneck Foundation supports Ivy Tech. For years, Schneck has partnered with Ivy Tech to ensure students have the best education, equipment, and experience. We are grateful to have Ivy Tech as part of our communities. We look forward to its future with its new main campus building. 
Old National Bank is honored to support Ivy Tech Community College in its new main building for the Columbus campus. Like Ivy Tech, Old National Bank is committed to our communities and ensuring education is available to everyone. As a longtime statewide partner of Ivy Tech, we are excited to continue this partnership locally by contributing to the new Ivy Tech Columbus campus. We believe it will provide a wonderful addition to higher education in the Columbus area and help students prepare for continuing their education and advancing in their careers. Thanks so much to the Schneck Medical Center Foundation, Old National Bank, and the Custer Foundation and the Nugent Foundation. We would also like to give a heartfelt thank you to our other early donors who have contributed to the project so far. These include Rick and Alice Johnson, Applied Medical, Jesse Brand and Jerry Hanley, Bob Motes, and an absolutely wonderful couple who prefer to stay anonymous at this time. These generous gifts will leave a lasting legacy on our students and our communities. Opportunities to contribute to our new campus are still available, and we welcome and appreciate any size contribution. For more information, please contact me at the below information. And now, Dr. Combs will conclude our virtual groundbreaking. Thank you to everyone who participated, watched, and joined in on this virtual groundbreaking ceremony. We had a lot of fun preparing for this day, and we have so many more exciting moments ahead of us as this new building takes off. You can stay updated on the progress of this building at our building website and on social media at the addresses below. And now, one last time from our new campus, have a great afternoon.